User security. Let's start at the ground floor, the everyday user level. This is where you and most people live digitally, phones, laptops, and Wi-Fi. At this level, cybersecurity is about protecting your personal data from common threats, phishing links, malware downloads, weak passwords, and social engineering traps. If you use two-factor authentication, strong passwords, and update your software, congratulations. You're at least aware of your digital hygiene. But here's the truth. Most people fail even here. They reuse passwords, click random links, and fall for you've won a prize emails. This level is all about individual awareness, not fancy tools, just habits. Because the weakest link in cybersecurity is almost always the human, not the system. Network security. Now things start getting technical. Network security protects the highways of data, the routers, switches, and firewalls that move information from one system to another. Here, the focus is on controlling who gets in and who stays out. Firewalls block suspicious traffic. Intrusion detection systems monitor activity. And encryption ensures that even if data is stolen, it's unreadable. It's like airport security for your internet, scanning every data packet that passes through. Hackers often exploit open ports, weak router settings, or unpatched firmware to get in. So network admins live in a world of rules, protocols, and constant monitoring. Application security. This is where hackers get clever. Applications like websites, banking apps, or even games can have secret backdoors. Application security means testing and patching these holes before hackers find them. Techniques like penetration testing, code audits, and input validation keep the bad guys out. Think of it like securing a house not just from the front door, but every window and vent. Even a single insecure API can lead to total disaster. That's why cybersecurity teams use tools like OWASP Zap, Burp Suite, and dynamic scanners to break their own apps before attackers do. Endpoint security. Every device connected to a network is an endpoint. Your laptop, phone, even your printer. And hackers love them. Endpoint security ensures these devices are protected with antivirus, firewalls, and advanced monitoring systems. Imagine an army base. Each soldier, device, must be strong, trained, and alert. If even one goes rogue, the whole mission can fail. In 2025, endpoint security is evolving fast, with AI-based threat detection and behavioral analytics that recognize attacks even before they execute. Because sometimes, malware hides in memory or scripts that no antivirus can see until it's too late. Cloud security. Welcome to the era of everything online. Your data isn't on your hard drive anymore. It's floating in servers across the world. Cloud security protects virtual machines, databases, and storage from unauthorized access. It uses tools like access control, encryption, and identity management to make sure only the right people touch the right data. But cloud hacks are brutal. One misconfigured bucket on Amazon Web Services and millions of records leak overnight. That's why companies now use zero trust models. Never trust, always verify. Even your own system must prove who it is. Every time. Data security. Now we go deeper. Protecting the core essence of cybersecurity, your data itself. It's not just about blocking hackers. It's about what happens if they get in. Data security means encrypting sensitive files, controlling access, and tracking who touches what. Techniques like data masking, hashing, and tokenization make stolen data useless to attackers. It's like locking your diary, shredding every copy, and replacing your real secrets with fake ones. Even if someone breaks in, they learn nothing. In modern systems, this level often includes compliance rules like GDPR and HIPAA. Ensuring privacy isn't optional, it's law. Operational Security, OPSEC. Here's where strategy kicks in. Operational security, or OPSEC, isn't about software. It's about behavior. It's the mindset used by ethical hackers, military units, and intelligence agencies. It means thinking like an attacker. What could someone infer from your online activity, emails, or even your work routine? Hackers use breadcrumbs, small bits of data, to build full profiles of targets. So OPSEC means hiding your patterns, using aliases, and never giving out more than necessary. In short, it's not just defense, 
its deception. Cyber warfare security. Finally, the top of the pyramid, where cybersecurity becomes a matter of national power. Governments now wage silent wars online. They attack power grids, steal military data, and plant malware in enemy systems years before conflict even begins. This level includes cyber intelligence agencies, advanced persistent threats, APTs, and defense networks built to withstand attacks from entire nations. Think of it as digital nuclear defense, code instead of missiles. Countries like the US, China, and Russia invest billions into this layer, building hackers, not just soldiers. And in this age, the next world war might not start with bombs, but with bites.